Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel. And welcome to Christmas in July. I'm going to be using this Christmas tree dye. It's one of the, one, one of the ones they call the old red ones because they're like the first ones that they had besides the Ellison ones. And I cut out five of these Christmas trees and I cut them all at one time. It will cut three and four, five out of the time if you have thinner cardstock. Otherwise, I think three is about all I'll cut out. I folded four of these in half and I'm going to glue them together side by side because I'm going to use them as a pop-up in the center of my Christmas card. The one on the right that's sitting on the embossing folder, I already embossed it. And the one that I embossed it with had like loops, which kind of reminded me of garland. So I thought that would be a pretty good one to have on my Christmas tree on the outside. I didn't emboss the ones that I am gluing together though. It might look pretty cool though, but I didn't even think about it till just now. Um, you want to make sure you get them all lined up and then that way when they go to unfold and you might want to wait till the glue dries a little bit before you start uh, trying to put it in your card. I think I put mine in just a little bit too quick this time. It wasn't glued together real good. I could see it was coming apart a little bit. I am going to show you how to make one just in case you didn't do it in school, but I did it in school. You fold a piece of cardstock in half and then you draw your Christmas tree, which hearts works really good for this too. Um, and that's what I would use for a template. I have used Christmas tree like that for a template until I got my die. <laughs> but uh, you wouldn't want to fold the card that goes on the front. So you would need a template so you wouldn't have to fold it. And it, I cut it the, the, car, the piece of white cardstock there and the green. I cut it the same size as the piece that I used on the die. So it'd be a similar size. But somehow I made it a little fatter. The last time I made a Christmas tree, it was one of those pencil Christmas trees when I got done. But this one's a chubby little tree. Of course, I do like chubby little trees. I think they look really pretty decorated. Um, there's lots of different ways, of course, that you can decorate your tree. You can even use sequins on it, which would be a super quick way to do it. But I am, cut, this is a close to my art paper scrap, of course. And it's thin paper, so I took liquid glue and glued it to some white cardstock so they'd be a little firmer when I go to punch it. I have noticed that punches, this kind of punch anyway, doesn't do as well if you've got really thin paper. Um, the little hand punch you see over there at the right, it don't do bad at all with the thin paper. But this one here, it'll like catch in it. And it won't punch as good. And of course it helps make it look more dimensional on your page too. This is a little star punch and it's kind of wonky. But it's a cute little star punch. And I think I got a Hobby Lobby one day when I was there. And I'm going to center it on a starburst on that one that right there. And I think I should have done a red one instead. I think with that background that I have there, which is a light blue, it don't show up quite as good as it could have. But I didn't even notice it till I was watching the video and putting uh, everything in place on the video. And I thought, boy, that star don't show up very good. But I'm just going to scatter these on the Christmas tree. And the star I did go ahead and put down. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do besides put a greeting on there. And the thing is, I did all my trees. I'm going to show you some more cards that I did. But I did all my trees, and then I went to put the greens on. I thought, dang, I didn't have to do the whole tree. <laughs> and what did I do on this one? I did the whole tree. Oh, I didn't have the star glued down. Huh. But I'm gluing them all down now. And I'm doing everything sort of in real time, sort of. I do have it sped up a bit, almost twice as fast. So that shows how slow I am if this is twice as fast. 
because yeah I am pretty slow but the greeting that I'm going to use is over there to the right in a little bowl I stamped a whole bunch well when I first got my Tim Holtz um, stamp pa platform I think it's called stamping platform that's it I stamped a whole bunch and I don't think I'll have to do it any for another year or two because I do use my die cuts and uh, then I also use the stamp and so here I was looking trying to decide where to put my little greeting and thinking the whole time you know you didn't have to decorate it right there but yeah all you do now is glue your tree into your card and you want to glue the tree and then fold the card over on it nestle it down in the groove on the fold and you do the same thing for the other side too you want to make sure that um, it folds over correctly and I was just double checking there before I got all that glue on there but yeah you want to make sure it folds over correctly and if you do it that way you don't you don't have the well in the fold if you go it like into the fold sometimes it don't fold as smoothly it feels kind of tight so if you go ahead and glue whatever it is that you're putting in there first and then just fold the card on it, it folds a lot better. But that one I used, well, they're not enamel dots, but they're perler beads made into enamel dots. That one I fussy cut off of some chamel paper cardstock there on the 6x6, six six, and that scraps from a close to my heart one. And that one, I'm kind of thinking it might have been chamel too. But I was showing the little quarter inch punch because the smaller circles. I used it on that paper that was the one I think is Chamel. But there's the car. that was the tree on the inside. And this is the one, one where I did some embossing. Well, this is the one I did in front of you all. <laughs> That's the one. And there's the one with the faux enamel dots. And I just took a star off the close to my heart paper and put on top. And that was close to my heart paper. And it had little ornaments that I fussy cut out. And that one is the one I'm not sure, but I kind of think it's Chamel. And the Merry Christmas die is uh, cat scrappiness. And I took a pen and I made the wire for my Christmas lights and holly and just drew it first. And then I fussy cut all those little lights and holly out of the Chamel 6x6 paper pad. And then the star was one again from the close to my heart. But yeah, that's it. That's my cards. Be sure to check all the links out below to see what everybody else did this month. If they were working ahead for Christmas, so they'll have everything ready this Christmas. Or if they're still trying to catch up from last Christmas, which I might still be doing next month. But this month I decided to make some cards. Throw a little more into my box so I won't have as much to do come Christmas. But thank you all so much for watching. If you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who are, thank you so much. But have a, have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.